Okay, this is my new um, 3B, Luna 3B digital uh, CPAP machine I just got. I actually got it because I was tired of waiting for my uh, Phelps Respiron Extreme Station CPAP machine because it was recalled. It was taking way too long. I have a CDL and sleep apnea, so I needed a, a CPAP machine. So I just paid for this one out of my own pocket, and then I have to submit it to insurance, and then they said they would uh, put it towards my deductible. Anyways, it's a... Uh, Luna 2, I don't know if I said that right, 3B digital CPAP machine. Anyways, all you do is turn it once to turn it on, and then the settings are already in it when you, oh, before I do that, I take the this out, just fill it with distilled water, which you're supposed to empty this and clean it daily. My wife will probably talk more about that in a little bit. <clears throat> once you turn, put your water in, you just turn it on, and then turn it on again. I usually wait until I have my mask on. Before I do that, but uh, you can hear it. it. Sounds noisy, but once you have it on your face, it's not. I like this uh, full face mask. This is just really easy to clip on in the middle of the night, and I sleep with my mouth open too, so I like to have my mouth completely covered. And. Uh, if you have to get up in the middle of the night and you don't really want to take your face mask off, you can just clip it off like that, clip it right back on. It's really easy to use. I'm going to try not to talk about any of the cleaning because my wife's going to clean it. But once you turn it on, if you want to adjust anything, it's really easy. You can hit this ramp button. Then you go up here and go up to settings. Oh, there it goes. You can click on settings and just push down that power button and it gets you over here. If you want to adjust the humidifier, ramp time, or anything, like let's say I wanted to adjust the humidifier, I click on it and I can go up and down with the number. But I let my expert respiratory uh, doctor specialist, whatever you call her, she put all the settings in, so I'm going to leave them all alone. You can click on any of these and go up or down in the numbers. Delay, date, time, brightness. Mass type, it even lets you adjust the mass type. It keeps going down, some kind of codes. The only thing I don't like about this so far is you have to take the uh, memory card in each month to get your uh, printout. If you need a printout of your data to show that you're using it, I have a CDL so I have to take it in to get my printout. But uh, anyways, as far as the main review of using it, I can't tell absolutely any difference between this and my Philips Respironix Dream Station as far as uh, quality of sleep or anything like that. I think it's a great CPAP machine. It's really easy to use with the, uh, the water bin pulling out like that. And uh, there you go. I just give it my stamp of approval and I'll let my wife talk about cleaning it. I just wanted to say real quick, I did forget to explain the uh, ramp button on this. I do believe I already turned it on. All you have to do is turn it on, then turn it on again, and it'll start. And you can see the ramp button lights up, so it automatically turns the ramp on. So it'll go to full power after 30 minutes. Don't believe you can. Uh... Turn it off or on. So, anyways, I just wanted to note that the ramp button does come on automatically. All right. So I am usually the one that does the cleaning of the machine when my husband's at work, and as with most CPAP machines, I know with the Philips Respironix Dream Station, it was a pretty easy setup as far as cleaning and whatnot goes. Uh, it does say to replace the air filter like every two weeks and it's just this one's a lot different it's I know this is gonna be super hard to see but there is a little black piece of foam right here and this is going to be your little filter and on according to the user manual it does say to replace this every two weeks or as often as needed uh, based on sanitary conditions that's what I just read in the manual whoops as I drop it sorry <laughs> and so I know with the Philips Respironix CPAP machine, it was a lot different, whereas this is just one little unit. Like, you just 
basically, like I said, you just take out this little foam piece right here. This is your air, air filter that you would replace. Obviously, we're not going to do that because we don't need to. And so, yeah, like he was saying, it's really easy to take out the bin or water tray. And so you would just clean this daily with some mild soap. Uh, for me, I would just, I can't open the thing to show you because I obviously don't open this very often. It really can't be that hard, can it? It can't. I just don't know how to do it. I would clean this when I would clean like the tube and everything like that. Uh, it does say to clean it, you know, daily so you can put some soapy water in your sink and just let it soak for five minutes. That's what I was trying to go with there. And your mask, you can definitely, I'm going to probably rip this apart on accident. You can take it apart and just wash this piece. I would also just put that in your sink full of soapy water. It looks like I definitely need to clean that. And your tube should be easy to unplug from your machine. Because you can wash your tube too to keep it sanitized. You're supposed to wash the water basin daily and the tube weekly. Yes, you can wash the tube once a week. So that's usually what I do is I'll put the tube and the face mask in the, in the sink full of soapy water and let it sit for five minutes once a week. Uh, you can definitely wash your face mask probably more often if you want to. And then, you know, your tub definitely wash that on a daily basis. But yeah, that's a sort of long version of how you clean your CFAP machine parts that are cleanable.